What's up guys, welcome to the last day of uh, me being in Detroit, so this is the third vlog um, and it's time to say goodbye to the room, check out, head downstairs, we're going to be going to the um, Ford power plant where they build the Mustang which is going to be um, quite an insight into the Mustang, I've fallen in love with it since seeing the Shelby GT350 and the 350R, I'm trying to turn my light off, because it does not, oh, um, Just gonna leave it there and leave the light on. And it's sunny outside, so I'm looking forward to the flight later. Our flight's at half past 10, and um, I'm already tired and hungry. We're gonna be doing a bit of shopping after the uh, Ford Mustang tour. Um, so I probably won't be vlogging as much as possible on here. I've also running out of battery, and because I'm gonna be leaving this room, I'm not gonna be able to charge it. So I might do some films on my, or vlogging on my phone. So um, this is the end of uh, this hotel room in Detroit and um, within 24 hours or so I'll be back in the UK and reunited with my car. So um, I hope you've enjoyed the videos that we've had um, here and the cars at the motor show. Uh, it's been a brilliant, brilliant experience for me and to see some amazing cars get launched has been absolutely incredible. The Ford GT is by far the highlight of this show um, and definitely one. I'm gonna be doing a lot more research on and waiting for the price, waiting for when it's coming how many numbers, whether it's going to be right-hand drive or not, and whether they're going to be sticking with the twin-turbo V6 or they'll create a V8 one. So um, lots and lots of exciting things on the cards, and it's time to pack up and get myself out of here. Ford Motor Company first opened this facility in 1972 as the Michigan Casting Center, which was one of the most technologically of the stamping shop. Unlike many assembly plants, Flat Rock has an on-site stamping department comprised of 150 teams, including its maintenance teams. some of the body parts of the stamping The start of the stamping process begins with a 20 ton coil of steel. We use several different types of steel depending on where it will be used in the vehicle. This can be seen by the different appearance of the various parts. The stamping shop creates key vehicle parts such as hoods, body panels, front hoods, and lines can run at a faster rate to accommodate the extra doors of the sedan or if needed. Each door line requires nearly 20 robots to set and weld all the required parts to the door structure. Team members assist the process by loading and unloading the parts into the station. At the end of the process, a team member checks the finish of the outer skin for any defects in the at the stone stand. The stone is brushed across the outer sheet to check for any dirt to the side. rolls out. Thousands of different parts are installed by team members throughout final. For example, 
One door has more than 500 parts installed. The plant has more than 1,000 different suppliers of parts. Fusions and Mustangs are built together in final assembly, but with entirely different parts outside of a handful of nuts and bolts. This means team members have the skills and know how to assemble two completely different vehicles, many times one after another. This line is its capacity to tilt the vehicles. This allows for easier access to its underbody, making it more ergonomically friendly for team members to install the fuel system, various chassis components, and the brake lines. When fully assembled, they are reunited with the correct vehicle. by team members on your right. On your left, team members are installing various components, such as the air conditioning compressor and generator, to a wide variety of engines. system and climate control system. Yes, 